MD5, a new Valorant Avengers speedrunner, has come to the scene. Two weeks ago, he started uploading various runs, including a world rush. 8.30! We got it! We got it! That's world record! And as you just saw, he even got to beat my six-month-old world record. However, in that six months, I have learned various new tips and tricks to get better at the game, which I'm going to detail in this video. One of the biggest ones is being able to skip an entire level in the game. Let's get into it. I'm going to comment on the run while I'm watching it. There's some of the things might get cut due to importance, really. You can kind of figure out some of the things I'm talking about, such as Kano doing airdrop here. I'm pretty sure it's faster. I messed up here, of course, but using banana is so crucial in this run because what banana allows you to do is reach max momentum. Uh, you actually can't see this with our debug mode, but there is a velocity X stat, and banana basically maxes that out when he uses his uh, dash. A lot of this stuff is the same as previous runs, and my other analysis video, which I'm going to link to, but just know that it's quite boring and a little bit tedious. Watch, we're going to be majority using Banana to reach maximum velocity, then using Pistachio's Vine Stab to continue on the velocity, while also using Azora to keep that velocity up. If you just use Pistachio, then you don't really have much control either. Just using Azora in there gives you a little bit of speed boost and also allows you to give a little bit more control. And then whenever we need to get close to the ground fast, we'll use Cardinal. Ground planning whenever you can is really important. It gives you height and also speed, of course. Ground planning there is, as well is super quick and just speedy. You just want to get through the level as fast as you can. I actually haven't done that before in a run where I use Cardinal there, but I do think I want to start doing that more if the time matches up. But if you air kick something, you actually do get your abilities back, like you hit law, which I want to do more of, of course, because I, then I can convert that into an airdrop and everything. Banana's section there is a real good time save, I think. And getting that cycle is so important. I cannot overstate that because if you do not get that cycle where the ranking, breaking, is before his max height, but the stash can still jump on it, it's real important. There's simple things like that as well where Banana has ground handed just there, as you saw, and used Azora into it. It's just so much faster than doing a traditional slide with it. 1-3 is actually my favorite level in the game, I reckon. I think it's, uh, it's simple, it's... What I like about it the most is that it's all one section. So when you one one, you don't you don't go through any doors or anything. It's all just one continuous strip. I don't think you need to vine stab there actually, which is funny. I thought vine stabbing would make you cut through the wind faster because that makes sense, but I generally don't think it matters. <laughs> I'm obviously not the best speedrunner, but I do want other people to believe that they can beat me. If I give, if I tried, I could definitely do better. Is what I'm trying to say. But here's the skip. You simply just walk through the trees. It's really not that hard. You just walk through some trees and you can completely skip 1-4. Now, the reason that MD5 doesn't know about this is because the only real knowledge about it is on the wiki and in a very old video of mine. If you knew about that trick, you probably are only Kyoki and Toxic, who have tried telling him before that it exists, but I don't think he looks into Discord very much, which is funny. So, luckily this video is possible because he doesn't check Discord, which is nice, for me at least. It creates a more entertaining video where I get to cut his run from 8 minutes to 6. I'm actually doing something very interesting here. I'm getting the boss to this specific spot. I'm trying to make Manline do the shortest jump possible so that I'm not wasting my time waiting for Manline to jump from one end of the level to the other. I don't exactly know what the best Madeline RNG is, but I don't know what it is, but I hope that I'm getting the best. I got so scared here. One of my, my literal previous run before this ended due to that. Um, where I got trapped in the corner and died. I hit it and got a 622, which is really good, by the way. <laughs> You'll see in the thumbnail, I put the three golds in the thumbnail because I was like, this, people want to see the goals, they're not the reds. That's the run part of this. But there is a complete story I also want to tag on. It's about how warfare is all based on deception. I deceived MD5 for two weeks by not telling him this skip. And the reason why is because... I lured him into a false sense of hope, allowing him to get close and allowing him to think that he was doing as well as he could for me to shatter those dreams entirely. Now, I believe that MD5 is strong. I believe he is he's a powerful speedrunner. However, he doesn't have the knowledge like me. And by showing him up like this, I am proving my worth. I'm proving, hey, I'm probably like top five, top 10 in the world. Come at me, have a go. Even if I play the bad guy, I'm still gonna win. <laughs> So, you can check out the run here, or check out MD5's run here. It's incredible to see his progress, and honestly, go check him out. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.